6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister held talks with the Emir of Qatar in Doha today discussing issues pertaining to bilateral relations and regional and international situation. The Foreign Minister says bilateral relations between Pakistan and the United States are on a positive trajectory. China says it supports the peace process sponsored by Pakistan for the establishment of lasting peace in Afghanistan. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three youths in Shupanya district today. Israel successfully tested a system to intercept ballistic missiles outside the atmosphere today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan held one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Amir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamd Asani at the Diwane Amiri in Doha today. Later, the two sides had delegation-level talks. The Pakistan delegation at the talks was led by Prime Minister Imran Khan, while the Qatari delegation was led by Sheikh Tamim bin Hamd Assani. During the delegation level talks, all bilateral issues were discussed, focusing on strengthening economic and trade relations between the two countries. The Emir of Qatar also hosted a luncheon for the Prime Minister and the members of his entourage. Earlier, a formal welcome ceremony in honor of the Prime Minister Imran Khan was held at the Amiri Diwan. The Amir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamdassani, received the Prime Minister on reaching the Amiri Diwan. The Prime Minister was presented a guard of honor by a smartly turned out contingent of the Qatari armed forces. National anthems of both the countries were played on the occasion. Prime Minister Imran Khan also held a meeting with his Qatari counterpart Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Assani. Bilateral relations with a focus on economic cooperation between the two countries were discussed during the meeting. Besides meetings with Qatari leadership, the Prime Minister will also meet business and investment community of Qatar. He will also address the Pakistani community during his visit to Qatar. Representatives of the Sikh community in Qatar also called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Doha today. They thanked the Prime Minister for the groundbreaking of Qatarpur Corridor, which was the long-standing desire of the Sikh community globally. The Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said bilateral relations between Pakistan and the United States are on a positive trajectory and the recent visit of the Republican Senator Lindsey Graham to Islamabad is a testimony to the fact. In an interview he said the American Senator gave many indications of moving to strategic ties between the two countries and he agreed with the Prime Minister Imran Khan that there was no military solution to the Afghan conflict. He reaffirmed Pakistan's commitment to bring peace and stability in Afghanistan. Shah Mahmood Qureshi said the world, while appreciating peace and reconciliation efforts of Pakistan, understands that the country will have a key role to bring peace in Afghanistan. The Speaker National Assembly, Asad Qasas, says Pakistan wants to enhance relations with Iran for economic and regional prosperity. He was talking to the ambassador of Iran to Pakistan, Mahdi Khunardos, who called on him in Islamabad today. Besides bilateral relations, issues pertaining to regional peace and international issues were also discussed during the meeting. The speaker stressed the need for cooperative measures on emergency basis by all the South Asian countries to strengthen economy and control unemployment. The Iranian ambassador said Iran highly values its close ties with Pakistan. He said Iran also decides to enhance cooperation with Pakistan in different sectors. The Chinese ambassador to Pakistan, Yao Xing, has said his country supports the peace process sponsored by Pakistan for the establishment of lasting peace in Afghanistan. Addressing a seminar in Peshawar today, he said peace in Afghanistan is in the interest of the entire region, including China, and it could be achieved only through peaceful dialogue. The Chinese envoy said Pakistan's sincerity and honesty 
is visible in the Afghan peace process, and his government wants that peace and harmony is restored in Afghanistan. He said China wants the economy of Pakistan to get strengthened and vibrant, in which CPAC will play a pivotal role. This is Radio Pakistan. The Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhry Fawad, has answered the government will unveil its economic agenda tomorrow. In a tweet, the minister said in its first five months, the government coped with financial emergency resulting from balance of payments and flawed economic policies of the previous government. Chaudhry Fawad has said 2019 is the year of realization of actual targets. France will provide a soft loan of 130 million euros for Peshawar's sustainable bus rapid transit corridor project. Secretary of Economic Affairs Division Noor Ahmed, the Ambassador of France Marc Berthi, and the country director of the French Agency for Development, Jackie Ampro, signed an agreement in this effect in Islamabad today. The project will provide safe, efficient, and well-integrated mass transit system and air quality through reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Japan has assured to construct about 600 kilometer roads in 17 districts of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. The assurance was given by a delegation of Japan International Cooperation Agency during a meeting with the Chief Minister Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Mehmood Khan in Peshawar today. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said construction of these roads would enhance the tourism potential of the province. He said the government also plans to establish an agriculture research station in Mingora in collaboration with the Japan International Cooperation Agency. The chief minister invited Japan International Cooperation Agency to invest in Chashma Right Bank Lift Irrigation Scheme in Dera Smail Khan. France and Germany have asked Pakistan and India to pursue the course of dialogue, people-to-people -people contacts, and economic cooperation to improve their relations and address outstanding issues. The French ambassador Marc Berthi and the German ambassador Martin Kobler were addressing a joint news conference in Islamabad to mark the German-Franco-Friendship Treaty signed on this day way back in 1963. The German ambassador said French-German reconciliation teaches that conflict can be transformed into friendship. Martin Kobler said Kartarpur Corridor is a good beginning and the two countries should go for economic integration. He said the opening of borders bring the industrialists and the people together. He pointed out that intra-regional trade in South Asia is mere 5% while it is 60% in the European Union. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youths in Chupanya district today. The youths were killed during a cordon and search operation in Hefshirmal area. One of the martyred youth, identified as Shamsul Haq Mengnu, is the brother of an officer of the Indian police service, Inamul Haq Mengnu. The operation continued when last reports came in. Israel, in cooperation with the American Missile Defense Agency, successfully tested a system to intercept ballistic missiles outside the atmosphere in central Israel today. The Israeli Defense Ministry described the anti-ballistic missile test as an important milestone in Israel's capability in defending itself against existential threats. And now cricket. and the second one, the international against South Africa at Durban, Pakistan, were 96 runs for the loss of six wickets in 27 overs a short while ago. Earlier, South Africa won the toss and opted to fail. Pakistan lead the five-match series 1-0. And finally, the weather. More scattered rain is expected in Malacca and Hazara divisions, Kashmir and Gilgit, Baltistan, while at isolated places in Mardan, Peshawar, Lahore, Gujranwala, Rahul Pindi divisions, and Islamabad during the next 12 hours. Foggy conditions are expected in the plain areas of the Punjab during morning hours. More snowfall over the hills is also expected in Malakan Division, particularly Sawath, Chitral, Kalam, Malam Jabba, and Upper Deer, besides Hazara Division, Mari, Galiat, Kashmir, and Gilgit, Baltistan during the next 24 hours. And that is the end of this news bulletin. 
For more news and analyses, go on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.